are in the middle of Brighton. We're standing also in front of the Mingus painting I did for the release of this record on BBE. I had to spread the picture out slightly so that you know parts of his face, the main parts of him weren't cut in half by the line because obviously that image doesn't appear inside the M. So in order to make it fit, I had to kind of be a, I had to use my artistic license that was freshly renewed from the local news agents. Well, I mean, I'm I'm more of a hip hop kid originally, but so obviously there was loads during the 90s of his records that were being sampled by people. So I only became familiar with him because of the music that he'd made that had been sampled. You know, so that's that's how I know who he is. I had the Mingus 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 album. That I think is probably quite easy to get. But I had that. I always had that. It's one of those things that I would still bits of baseline off or listen to. You know. My taste was developed from trying to find samples and then obviously I bought a record that's got a drum break on it and then over time I've sort of thought, well, I wonder what else is on that album. I found other songs that wouldn't normally be in my arena and started listening to those. So then what I think is I think that song's amazing, I want to play it to other people and infuse about how good I think it is, you know? I'll be honest with you, with my painting, every single painting I've ever done has got a soundtrack to it, you know, because I, I've always felt that music and art are the same thing, and I think to try and separate them, to me, is an alien thing to do. It's like, you know, I'll do a painting, and then I'll think of a, if it's an aggressive painting, I'll think of a, a rap lyric or a rap song that I think encapsulates it, and then I'll probably use a lyric from that song or the title of that song as the title of that painting. And all of my paintings, even if it's like a painting in the street, will have a title that I will know as the title of that painting. I think that it adds a tempo to the painting and a, a sort of feeling and emotion. I think a lot of, I, don't, I can't speak for other people, but for me it's essential. If you really listen to music, don't just hear it, I think when you really listen to a song, if you're a creative person, it kind of unlocks some sort of emotion that you then feel the need to do something to celebrate or that music inspires or moves you and then if you're doing a piece of art I think that really helps. I love doing graffiti in the street and I, you know I love doing illegal graffiti because the thrill is much more you know but the thing is is at the moment with everything everything runs in cycles you know and graffiti is no different. There's now a, a big thing about people wanting just to do 20 minute paintings or, or get fame from going over people you know so that's not really what I was about, you know, I did all that when I was younger. I don't really need to do that anymore. I want my things to have value and integrity. So I can't satisfy my need to do a painting in 20 minutes in the street when I know I'd rather risk my freedom than spend two or three hours and do something mega. I'll always be a graffiti artist, that's, that's never going to change, you know. I'll always write my name on things, it's, 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 I love doing it, and I don't think it's really that bad. Mm -hmm.